Right now, a Newport News police officer and his civilian ride along are recovering after being shot. We know now the name of the suspect, Jerome Uzzle. He was also shot and died in the hospital. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens has the latest on this investigation. A tragedy for two families in Newport News. We have seen too many homicides in this city that have been a direct result of domestic violence. Two people are dead. Two others are in the hospital after a weekend of violence in Newport News. And it all stemmed from domestic violence. That is a real problem for us that we have. Officers say Jerome Uzzle shot and killed his wife Chandra Eason at a gas station Saturday afternoon, then got into a shootout with police a couple hours later. Uzzle died at the hospital early Sunday morning. Chief Steve Drew spoke with Ethan's mother. I told her that she's now part of our family and anything that we can do for her or her family, we will do that. Chief Drew also spoke with Uzzle's mother. She apologized for what her son did and she didn't understand it. Chief Drew says Uzzle then drove to Cottage Grove apartment homes. He says an officer and a woman on a ride along were inside a patrol car when Uzzle came up and started shooting in an ambush style attack. It was something she had been looking forward to and uh, this was just a very, very unfortunate incident. Now the community is remembering Neeson, a mother and comedian. Local comedian Angus Black remembers when he first met Eason. As soon as she graced the stage, man, it was like a, a young Monique in the making. Is this a sad situation, man? Black is putting together a comedy fundraiser for Eason's family and children who lost both their parents. Anything I could do to make this situation better, hopefully we can bless the kids and the family. And tonight, that officer and woman on the ride along are expected to make a full recovery. And Chief Drew credits the community and witnesses because he says it was them who led them to where Uzzle was hiding. In Newport News, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.